video uh today we will be talking about installing a turn server in your environment to be able to use that with nextcloud so i'm sure you already know what a turn server does in your network in this case using it with um, the nextcloud talk app so a turn server is going to act as a translator for your devices sharing data using the web rtc protocol so in order for you to be able to install a turn server, you need a Linux or Ubuntu operating system. In this case, we're using Ubuntu 22.04. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our Ubuntu system is up to date. And once we do that, we want to go ahead and install um, the cold turn because that's what we're going to be using as a turn server. In my case, I already have that installed, so I'm going to clear that. If you don't, you're going to go ahead and select yes and follow the prompts and get that installed. So once that's complete, you want to use the command systemctl and stop the turn service from running. And we want to navigate to the a nano etsy default code turn directory and once you get in there for you this turn server underscore enabled is going to be commented out so when i say commented out it's going to look like that so you want to uncomment it and then you save that file so the next thing we're going to do is use the move command to basically change uh, or rename the conf uh, the turn server a configuration file into .conf.original. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to back up this file and we want to create our own uh, turn server configuration file. So once that's done, once you run the command, I already have that run, so I'm not going to run the command. Once you run that command, now we're going to use the next command to create a new uh, turn server configuration file. So we're going to use nano etsy uh, turn server.conf. Notice I'm running this as root, so I don't need to use the sudo command. But if you were not running this as root, you're going to have to use sudo to be able to create a new file in the etsy um, directory. Open this file. This file is going to be uh, empty for you. So for me, as you can see, um, there's a whole bunch of settings in here. So for you, it's going to be empty. Um, I have a document with all the options we have in this file, um, all the configuration we have in this file um, in, the, in the description section below. Um, so you can go ahead and copy and paste. But what you need to know that's important in here is that um, the TLS listing import, if you want to, uh, if you want your turn server to listing for both uh either using TLS, which means you need to create a certificate, which I'll show you guys how to do in a minute, um, or you can just use UDP. But UDP, you just need to uncomment this line um, and use the 3478. But in this case, I want our connection to kind of be secure, uh, so we're going to use a certificate. So I'm only using the TLS listening port, and I'm only using the fingerprint um, and uh, the TLA, the LT credential uh, mechanism. What you want to change again here that you need to worry about is this static authentication secret. So you want to remove all this and put your own secret that's going to work best for you. So you can use any string. You can use um, 20, 30, 40 characters. The longer, the better. This is kind of the password that we're going to need in Nextcloud. So once you set that, you also want to come down here and set a server name. Uh, this is the server name that's going to be in your DNS um, management service. So if you use Cloudflare, you're going to go create an A record and give your turn server a name. So you can call it anything you want. In this case, I called it shadow.geektogether.com. Note, if you're running this internally in your home, you're going to have to port forward 5349 to um, this host name. And you, in my case, I put forward it using TCP and UDP because um, the turn server listens uh, using UDP and uh, TCP port 5349 for TLS secure. So once you change that, the only other thing you need to change here is um, the cert 
uh, the certificate file in my case um, I am using certificates that I created um, locally so I'm using self-signed certificates but I'll show you guys how to um, create a certificate using um, setboard from uh, let's encrypt which is a free valid certificate and also uh, we don't need to use the guest uh, user and password so we're going to turn that off because we want this to be secure since we're opening up for the internet or over the internet and once that's done you just save that file and once you save that file now you're going to go ahead and install um, certbot so we'll run the command to install certbot here uh, once you install setbot, we've done this before. You want to go through the DNS um, setup to configure um, your TLS certificate. So we're using the DNS um, manual verification. So as you can see, we run the command. You change the shadow.geektogether.com to your domain name. And once you run that, it's going to ask you for an email. So we're going to enter my email here. And then you're going to accept the terms. Yes. And then it's going to try to request a certificate. Once you get to this stage, we've done this a couple of times with this next cloud series. Um, you're going to go back and we're going to go to cloud fair here. You just want to create a TXT record. And we're going to add the name. And then when we go back, we're going to copy the value here. And once you copy that, you paste that, save it. Then we're going to go back to the terminal. I'm uh, going to refresh one more time. Go back to the terminal. And now we're going to press enter to continue. As you can see, our certificate was issued to us. Um, this certificate is contained in this directory. So now that we have our certificates uh, directory, we're going to go back to our turn server configuration file. And for you now, you want to replace this certificate, uh, the cert. You want to copy the uh, certificate uh, file directory. So you want to copy this right here, everything, and you paste it for uh, the cert option and for the p key which is private key you want to copy all of this and paste it here for the p key so once you do that we want to make sure we start our um, cold turn service because we stopped it and then we're going to check the status it's running fine with no errors so we're good to go we're going to go back to the browser so i'm going to go to the browser and as you can see i have my next cloud um, server open so we're going to go into apps and at this point once that opens up we're going to try to download the talk app so once you get to the talk app you're going to do uh, download and enable or install and enable and once that's enabled um, you go now to administration settings and on the left side you want to head over to talk and once you're in here um, we're going to look for the option where it says turn servers so before we do this if you try if you had already tried to make a call um, using nextcloud talk application to an outside uh, someone who is outside of your network that's not going to work because they're, they're not going to be able to connect to your um, next cloud server. So now we're going to go ahead and install, um, configure the turn server pad. So in this case, what we're going to do here is paste our server name. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that. As you can see, we're using port 5349. Okay. So port 5349 and uh, for the secret, I'm going to go ahead and paste this secret right here. So once you paste that, you can see you get a tick, an original tick, which means it's working. But if I was to remove this, um, we're going to get an error. 
since we have the secret we're going to paste the secret you want to select the option udp and uh, tcp and once you do that you save that and if you go back and try to make a call using nextcloud talk now you should be able to successfully go through this call um even if the person is outside of your network since we were able to successfully configure our turn server so thank you for watching i hope this video helps you configure turn server for your next cloud if you have any question do not hesitate to leave it in the comment section uh, please like the video and subscribe